welcome to Pink Poodle 2. I am Pink Poodle. Here is Maisie the East End Poodle. No, sorry, that's West End Poodle Priscilla and West End Poodle Maisie. And we are Pink Poodle 2. They look like the Muppets, but they're not the Muppets. Say bye, girls. Bye. And I do have two real poodles, Billy and Dora, but they're not up here at the moment. They've just gone for a walk with their daddy, so they'll be back soon. So, hello, how is everybody? Hope everyone is safe and well. Um, I always say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good breakfast, good tea time, good everything. Oh, and Billy's just turned up. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's keeping safe and well in this still this lockdown in the UK um, and I don't know where it is where you are but in um, the UK we were on lockdown so yeah it's hard going and at the moment I've got my auntie's not very well so I'm having to try and help her out a little bit which is really difficult you know sometimes but I love her and that's all you have to do isn't it you have to what you do for the people that you love so anyway enough about that I am talking about today the Sabbath, the witch's Sabbath called Inbok and Inbok is on is between the 1st and the 3rd of February kind of around that time but it says the 2nd of February but sometimes it says by the, uh, if you look on the calendar wheel it says between the, what does it say, I can't remember it says between like the 1st and the 4th or something like that so uh, this is the 2nd of February so you're wondering what Inbok is this first of all is a box uh, let me get this right. Silver Fork and Daughters. I really do love their Sabbath boxes. This is the third Sabbath box I've got now. I've got Salwin and I've got Yule and I've got this. And I'll continue to get this because I really do like the different things that you get in here. Um, and also some of the rawness of the crystals and stuff. I really enjoy that. So yeah. So And I also enjoy the wrapping paper that they actually wrap things in. Which is so beautiful. I'll show you. I'm sorry I've got into my box because it comes this morning. And I just quickly had a look at it before I had to go to Aunt Maureen's. And now I'm back and it's what time? What is the time now? It's four o'clock. So we went to Aunt Maureen's half ten. So I thought I'll, I'll get this up and running and do it. And now the dogs are here. As you can see. Oh, can you see there's Billy Bum Bum? And Dora's there somewhere. Oh, she's there somewhere. Oh, well, she's somewhere. I'll get her up here actually because she'll be mummy and growing in a minute. Come on then, up you come. Come on, up you come. There you go. There's Dora. Uh, they're gonna, I'm going to cut their hair tomorrow and Billy. They haven't got no top knots anymore. I actually did, did uh, um, cut them off because they were getting a little bit heavy for them. Stop fighting, you two. Oh, God, they're like children. Anyway, so back to Inbok. So. I've got in, when you open this from Silver Fork and Daughters, this is the deluxe um, uh, Sabbath box. So, um, this is oh, I can't remember now 30 pounds, 72 pounds, something like that, with postage. So, it doesn't work out too bad. So, it shows you the modeling guide to Inbox, and I shall read what it is. It says, when I get to it, there you go. It's the 2nd of February and its name is Imboke, Imbok, Bridget Day, Bridgen Day, is it Bridge, Bridge Hind Day, Looper, some other Feast of Pan. And the origins of this is takes its name from the Irish Imploc, meaning to wash or cleanse oneself. So this is the uh, found between the Sabbaths of Yule and Ostra. I think that's how you say Ostra, which is in March. So it's to do with all growing and stuff like that, you know, like. It says, Inbok is the winter cross quarter, making the midpoint between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. It is a time of cleansing, purification, of hope, light, possibility... Winter cannot last forever, or the possibility of winter cannot last forever. And here is the beginning of spring. In ancient times, Imbok was celebrated as the end of winter and the beginning of the agricultural season. Several Neolithic, oh, I can't say that word, Neolithic monuments, such as the mind of the 
Hastings on the hill of Tara in Ireland are alleged so that the sun lights up the inner chambers on on this day so yeah so it's like the time when it's going from like winter transitioning into spring you know like when you start seeing snowdrops and things like that so it's all about planting you know uh, and and all that and it says like it says Bridgend or Gallicarich Bridget is the Celtic form of the divine triple goddess, also known as Bridge. Bridgend, Bridge by Bridge, also is a guardian of the home and the hearth and the goddess of small smithcraft, healing and poetry. At Bridgend's day coincides with Imbok. Many choose to honour her as part of the celebrations. Legend says that Bridgend serpent to the grass snake emerged from hibernation at Imbok to test the weather and if it's returned quickly as if uh, winter will last for another month that reminds me of the um we watched it the other day granddog day they have the granddog come out and say whether winter's going to be for another month it's a type of sort of kind of like story like that another Celtic story tells that of this day it is fine and bright that Delhi Rich, the goddess of winter, has come outside to collect firewood and winter will last longer. On the other hand, it's, if the weather is dark and gloomy, she has slept through the day and winter will be gone by soon. So that's a little bit of what Imbok um, is. So this is the hello and welcome to the deluxe Imbok box. If you're reading this before you've unwrapped your surprises, then don't want any of my spoilers. Please stop here. But I've already opened them because I was bloody impatient this morning. So first of all, I'm just going to pick out the first thing that comes to my hand. And it's this box here. And the thing with Silver Food and Daughters, right, even before you get to what's in the boxes, this paper is absolutely stunning. Yet again, I keep all these, I'm putting these all in frames because these are absolutely stunning. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. These are so gorgeous. These pieces of paper had, you know, the amount of detail on each one is amazing. And you have to try hard not to rip the, the tape off because you want to preserve the picture, which is going to be difficult because I've just done that. So look at these. On here, we've got an eye, we've got scissors, we've got flowers, we've got a bird. We've got the sun, we've got like little crocuses, like what's what I was saying, like the snowdrops coming up. So, and like the planting, the moon, um, a pumpkin, some more flowers, some candles, a cauldron, and a frog or a toad, whatever. So, that is in itself, I love that, and I really do love that very much. I love the way, and it's always painted on really good paper. So, that that's the first thing, but it's not even what's inside. The inside here, it's a nice plain box, good for re oh, what do you call it? Re thing in. And in here we have a garnet. Now a garnet is normally like um oh, my name gave me a garnet ring, it's got a tiny little garnet stone in it, and it's sort of like quite um pinky ready. And so a garnet is zodiac sign is Aquarius what my mum's is because she was born on the 3rd of well she was born on the 3rd of um, I forgot what it is, February it's an earth sign and magical associations love, protection, purification dream fulfilment, protection from the evil eye and healing associates eases information, provides blood circulation, helps fever and headaches so there is that if you want to read that and in the little package again which has got I think the same pictures but it's on brown paper and it's smaller yes it's the same as what we've got there but it's a smaller one which is just equally as lovely I'm just going to take that tape off and I'm probably going to ruin this oh this time this has got a little bud on it this hasn't got the other one didn't have a bud on it did it let me see did it? Oh yes it did, it had like a rose hip on it. 
So this is on like a little piece of brown paper. And inside is a raw garnet. You see that? So that is really stunning. So you can see like where some of the... If you can see that some of the... Um, see it sparkling a little bit there. So this is a semi-precious stone. I really love that because this will just remind me of my nan. And like you can catch like the glimpses of it. Can you see? There. So that's the garnet. And also in here, we've got a little little tin or something that I use anyway, which is Tiger Balm. But I don't normally buy the actual Tiger Balm because it's expensive. But this is a little tin of Tiger Balm. Like you can smell it, but I like this stuff. It's very good if you've got headaches and things you can put on your... And it smells divine, but I normally get the cheap one. I should really get the proper one because it works better, so it's a little... See the tiger balm, which is quite cute. It's quite cute actually because you could put the other stuff in there and just put it in your thing, and it is the proper stuff. So, the first thing we've got that, just got to put this to the side, and I'll read out all this in a minute what we've got so that we can just, yeah. And then reaching in again, we've got another piece of really nice quality paper, and inside this one, we have a hook. And this has been made by a blacksmith, so it's sooty still, like it's got like, you can see, like where it's been forged. And this is a hanger for a plant, if you want to hang a plant, or a cauldron, like, you know, when you put your cauldron on the thingy. So, there's that, which is quite cute, which is really different as well, because this is what I like about all three of my alternative boxes. I like the fact that you get different things in there. Then we've got some paper to be chucked away. I'll probably use that for something else. Where's use everything? And then we have a little broom. And this is a proper working broom made out of, I don't know if it's thatching or whatever it's made out of. It's very good. I quite like that. I don't know if we can have it as a best one. I'm not sure. Might do. I've already got one up, but I might just put this on my altar. So there's that, which is really nice. I like that. Then we've got packets of things. We've got incense, which is jasmine. I don't know this smells like I haven't opened these, so it so smells. Get an incense cone. Oh, it's in a, in a thing, in a cone. Look at that. Oh gosh, that smells. Oh, that smells gorgeous. That smells really, that smells like a nice perfume. Oh, I like that. Oh, that really smells lovely. So we've got jasmine, a jasmine cone. What else have we got here? And that's that, I don't want that. Then we've got some basil seeds. And these should be planted February 19th to 27th. And I've got some rosemary from last month so i'm actually going to do that originally from india um to britain in the 16th century um yeah aids what's that something problems well we all know basil basil is really nice i like basil anyway i like the way it tastes i can never but when you buy it, it always dies i think so we've got some basil seeds Nothing to put this on here and it's all going to drop off. And then we've got a white, looks like, I don't know if it's a Babylon candle or just a candle, I'm not sure yet. We'll get to find out what that is and what a white is that way. And then we've got some cleansing herb blend. This herb blend combines the magical properties of lavender, rose, jasmine, frankincense, myrrh, cedar and meadowsweet. It can be burned as an incense on charcoal discs, used at an altar, circular herb or used in your cleansing rituals. There's that. Let's have a look what this looks like. I haven't looked at these. So I'm looking at these for the first time with you guys. To smell the lavender. Oh, this is not probably 
the best hand to put it in. Can you see like that? You can see the lavender bits and you've got a great big, what's this? Jasmine flower, I think that is. I believe that is. is it? But we've got it jasmine. You can see like we've got little bits of lavender. I don't know what the rest is. <laughs> but it smells nice. I imagine it smells very nice burning. I need to get some charcoal sticks. I have no charcoal sticks. Anybody got any charcoal sticks they don't want? Send them my way. I don't know, right? I've got to buy some. I haven't, I haven't. I need to buy some because I don't know how to. Um, what I have to do with them. So it'll be interesting to see. I haven't got any charcoal sticks. So there's that. Because I've got a few of these now and I really should learn to know what to do with them. And then we have one more thing. Well, we normally get a little note from her, but we didn't get a note this month. Maybe it's me. And then we've got in here, we've got our herbs for the month. We always get a nice bag of herbs. And we've got, this one's willow. And then what I do is I put this in my... Um, book of Shadows, so I know what's what. So this is Contents Willow Bark, associated with communication, protection, and healing. So this is Willow, and this is not your dog, Max. This is Max's doggy's name, Willow. I always remember when I'm thinking about Willow, is Willow, um, is the film with um, Robert Davis. I used to really like that film. I used to like the name Alora and Kaya. I had a daughter, I was going to call him Alora or Kaya. But I ended up calling her Jessie. Because I thought I was having a boy. So yeah, Alora or Kaya is a really lovely name. Always like them names. And I like fantasy names and I like Bible names too. I am trying to open this. So I'm getting there soon. Right, there you go. So this is what Willow looks like. Looks like this. It does have. It does actually have a scent. I don't know if I've ever, have I ever smelt with that before. It has a slight scent. Well, the branches did them. Perhaps it's just me. What we've got? We've got just. We've got some different thickness of the branches. It has a little smell. So there's willow. Then we've got jasmine. Jasmine is it's a dry flower, this one. Property associated with prosperity, tranquility, tranquility and love. Jasmine. I like the smell of jasmine. It smells nice and fresh. Well, I think it does anyway. Oh, let's see me 10 minutes opening something. Oh, I haven't doing this one very well. I don't like to rip them too much. Because once I put them in like the little jars and it's alright, but I'm too off. I'm going to go off my block in a minute. I won't do it. Hands don't want to do what they've got to do today, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, we've just seen some of that. That's what I said to you, was the jasmine that I actually showed you. You can get the bigger jasmine flowers that they have in the teas. Oh, I don't really smell so much. I don't know if you rub one with it will or not. Let me see. I'll rub one with it, get some smell out of it. No, it probably needs to be um, some water or something on them. So they've so got all like that, all the thing. I like the artwork they have for these. And then last but not least, we have rosemary. And this is dried rosemary. And it's associated with purification, protection, and memory. And when you want to clean down anything, you make some um, water with rosemary in it, whether it be fresh or or dried. And then you use that to cleanse down like where the area, or. Um, you use the oil, rosemary oil. I did that the other week. I made some rosemary oil water. 
and clean down a few things. Like spring cleaning it. And of course we all know what rosemary looks like when it's dried. Looks like that. It smells gorgeous. I like the smell of that. So, let's see what it says. It says, in your box contains the inbox Sabbath guide, which we read from it earlier. And then it says, altar guide. Yes, I've got that. But I didn't show that because you get that every week. Seeds, we've got basil. Um, let's just put it up. As I, as I get it, we'll say, see where, it, where it's gone. So we've got basil seeds. We've got willow bark. Willow bark. Willow. We got jasmine flowers, and we got rosemary. We got a herbal blend to cleanse. We got a crystal. We got a crystal with a garnet. Hold hold your rough unpolished garnet up to the bright light, and you may see deep shades of red within the, its heart. This garnet comes from Norway and is the perfect for love and protection spells. Well, I said that because I could see it sparkly a bit, couldn't I? Then the candle is white for Bridgend. Bridget, Bridgend? Bridgend. Bridgehind. That's a white candle and this is a made from vegan friendly wax. It's a bit like the white Babylon candle. It's a bit like the Babylon candle, but it's white. Well, that might be a white version of it. I don't know. Then the incense is rosemary. And then we've got a tiger balm. A, the little red tin contains tiger balm. A vegan-friendly balm made with camphor, said to help relieve muscle and joint pains, aid breathing and soothe headaches. Now, I knew about Tiger Bum when I was a young girl because my dad used to use it on my legs because he used to get growing pains. So, I've been aware of a Tiger Bum ever since I was a little girl. So, yeah, so that's really nice because that's cute. You can put it in your, your purse or whatever and if you get a little bit of headache, just rub it on your temples. Right. So, and then we've got a homemade quir broom. Sweep away negativity energy to make room for positive spring vibes with this handy little broom I quite like that little broom I like that because I'll use it at best and I'm put it upside down which I might do that wipe go over all of my things I'm ready with this it feels really nice I like this a lot actually and then it says the hook so if we find it this is hand forged hook in box is Bridget's Day, Goddess of Smithcraft, and this hand forged S hook is just the right hang up for your cauldron or house plant. Hang it from a card, hang it from a curtain rail, wardrobe rail, or anywhere you make takes your fancy. So there's that, and it says, With our boxes, we do not seek guide through this particular strict ritual. But instead give you what you need to find your own more personal route. So that's that. So that is inbox box from for 2021. And this is Silver Thorpe and Daughters Deluxe Inbox Box. Inbox box. I probably said it wrong. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoy the fact that I do different things rather than beauty all the time. So thank you so much for staying subscribed. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I hope you're well. And all it's nest all it <laughs> I can't even say the words. All it nest I can't say it. All I'm gonna say is thank you for watching. And if you liked my video, please give me a pause up. And I will see you in the next Pink Poodle too. Thank you for watching and always remember it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Until next time on Pink Poodle 2. Bye guys. Bye. Stay safe.